this has divided opinion, um, Aaron Bastani. Some people saying, so what? People move jobs all the time. What's your problem? Other people are saying, whoa, there, Tiger. This demonstrates that there was an agenda after all. The civil service are not unbiased. Where do you stand on it? I think it's awful news. Um, and I think it's fundamentally bad because it undermines the perception of neutrality and impartiality in the civil service. And that's hugely important. You've already seen a tweet from Jacob Rees-Mogg saying, look, we knew all along this wasn't a fair process. Now, some people agree, some people disagree. I'm not impugning Sue Gray's reputation. I've, I've never met the, the woman. I have you know, no idea about what goes on in her mind. But clearly, I think it's inappropriate for somebody who wrote... Let's be real. The, the Partygate report was the sort of Damocles over uh, Boris Johnson's yeah. head. This isn't just any old civil servant. And I think, frankly, she should be putting the reputation and neutrality of the civil service above her own personal career ambitions. She hasn't. I think that's bad. Let's see. I mean, Rishi Sunak still has in his power potentially to stop it. Mm. But I think, I think it's very bad. And I think the people that sort of respond and say, well, what's the problem? This is normal. The civil service is meant to be supremely apolitical. Um, and this is just one more, uh, one more sort of slash, uh, uh, frankly, a, a beleaguered institution. And it matters to all of us, whether you're conservative, Labour, Liberal, Democrat, it matters to all of us to have an effective civil service. This doesn't help that. Martin, your thoughts on it? Well, I'm hoping at some point we'll find something di to disagree on, because <laughs> uh, I completely agree with what you said, except I would, I would put it the other way around, and that is um, for anybody who, who's followed the civil service or, 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 his, or his pals or knocks about with Conservative MPs, as I do, or, or even Labour MPs, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very obvious and has been for ages. The civil service is not apolitical. Um, it, it, it's been ac accused, quite rightly, I think, of, of, for example, laying down stumbling blocks to legislation on, on Brexit. They're very anti-Brexit in the civil service. They're very of a mindset politically, so much more of a metropolitan BBC mindset than an electoral representative mindset. So it comes as no surprise to me that somebody like Sue Gray would be, if you like, the premium product of that background. And it's absolutely no surprise to me that the woman responsible for the report that brought down Boris has been heralded by the Labour Party as a hugely significant appointment to bring great credit to their party. I think there's no surprise whatsoever. The civil service is biased. It's woke. It's riddled with anti-Brexit. They're trying to stop Rwanda. They're trying to stop all sorts of things that the electorate want. And this well, I think actually, it's more the lawyers that try and stop Rwanda, it. isn't it? I think yeah, it's but with, more those guys. Well, they won't even return to work. And when Jacob Rees-Mogg says, well, you know, get back to your desks, they, they, they won't even do that. So, so I think there's no surprise whatsoever that the civil service is, is biased against conservatives.